Hello everyone. Today with another feature deck video. I don't know if anyone here is aware of the fact that there is a Innistrad Championship tournament that was going on. Wizard of the Coast has released the deck list on the players that are participating on their article. And when I was going over some of the decks, I came across an interesting deck. So I have seen the Dragonstorm combo before, but haven't quite seen a Dragonstorm combo alongside Emergent Ultimatum. So I decided to do a video on this deck. So let's quickly go over it. First of all, this is a combo deck that is trying to kill you in a single turn. So the way this combo works is with these two cards here, Pair of the Peaks and the Belay the Wing the Risen. So basically, you Mizix's Mastery Dragonstorm for a Terror of the Peaks and the Belay the Wing the Risen, and you got yourself infinite damage, right? Here's a big if if you already have a blade wing the risen in your graveyard because if you physics is mastery a dragon storm you already have one storm count meaning it will duplicate itself once and it will fetch two dragons so if you don't already have blade wing the risen in your graveyard you can play a cost efficient one mana spell beforehand so that the storm count goes up make it into a storm two and you can fetch pair of the peaks and two copies of blade wing the risen instead and the way the combo works is if you have terror of the peaks the terror of the peaks says that whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control it deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target so if you you put the terror of the peaks on the battlefield first and then you take blade wing the risen onto the battlefield then it will do 4 damage to any target that you want. And then the Bladewing Risen has an Enter the Battle Effect trigger, grabbing another Bladewing Risen in from the graveyard to the battlefield. And because of the fact that this is a legendary creature, well, you have to pick and choose between the two Bladewing Risen to have it on the battlefield. And the Bladewing Risen will go to the graveyard, and then it will target itself infinitely in that loop. So that is infinite 4 damage until your opponent dies. So the other combo route for this deck, so before in the original Dragonstorm deck, you only had Mizzix's Mastery into Dragonstorm before, but now it's a little bit more consistent because you have the other option of playing Emergent Ultimatum instead of Dragonstorm. But if you have this in your graveyard, you can cast Mizzix's Mastery on Emergent Ultimatum and grab Dragonstorm, solve the equation, and Omniscience. So what this does is no matter what your opponent decides to give you, you basically will have assembled the combo to finish your opponent off. Because if your opponent gives you Dragonstorm, you win the game. Opponent decides to give you Omniscience and solve the equation, you also win the game because Omniscience says you may cast spells from your hand without paying their mana cost, and you play solve the equation, to grab Dragonstorm to your hand, and then you can cast Dragonstorm for free. So ultimately, this Immersion Ultimatum just leads to a guaranteed Dragonstorm. And as for Mulliganing, so everything does lead from Mizzix's Mastery. So it will be pretty important to try and Mulligan for either solve the equation on turn three into Mizzix's Mastery, or you just get Mizzix's Mastery in your hand. But even if you don't, you have so many card draws in this deck, such as Faithless Looting, Cathartic Pyre, Faithful Mending, and Prismatic Command. So I think you'll be okay to not see in your opening hand. Yeah, I mean, this looks more consistent than what it was before, so I'm excited to try this out. And without further ado, let's give it a go. Okay, so what do we got here? So I can strike it rich on turn one into cathartic pyre. Now let's uh, let's keep it because we have solve the equation. Hmm. 
because I can go solve the equation for Mizzix's mastery. Okay. So, I mean, I could technically solve the equation now. Hmm. I think I will play this blue, right? Because this is white. And we'll instant speed discard Dragonstorm. But the problem is I really don't want to discard solve the equation. But I might have to. Dragonstorm for sure. Should I be greedy? No, I shouldn't be, right? So here, I grab Mizix's Mastery, right? So I grab the Mizix's Mastery. The thing is, even if I Dragonstorm... Oh, that's kind of awkward. Got another Mizix's Mastery. So, I can't actually Dragonstorm now. Any more white sources? I do not think so. So, I'm gonna Mizix's Mastery solve the equation, I think. So I'm gonna solve the equation for a huh. another Mizix's mastery. Yeah, I'm gonna grab another Mizix's mastery. Oh, I, I made a mistake. I, I thought I... Wait, what? What just happened? Oh, I didn't know Mizix's Mastery puts itself into the graveyard. That is my mistake. I thought... I thought I was going to put Mizix's Mastery into the graveyard so that I can Mizix's Mastery of Mizix's Mastery. But that failed. My bad. Okay, so now this way for sure, right? That way for sure. Do we have any solved equations in the library? Okay, so omniscience, solve the equation, and then we have a copy of the mastery as well. So Let's emerge an ultimatum. And let's grab Dragonstorm Omniscience and solve the equation. And that should be lethal. Am I right? It looks like they are holding on to some kind of a removal spell, so... If I play Dragonstorm first, Omniscience second. Omniscience gets cast first because it's on the stack. Like this, we have... Oh, never mind. Might have made a mistake.
Okay. So the storm works a little bit differently than I expected. So you actually have to play... Pick, choose Omniscience first and then Dragon Storm second. But in case they have... Some life gain here. That should be enough. Okay. okay. Cool first game. Cool first game. Okay, we're playing against Loras. It's most likely going to be some kind of an aura deck. We are going second. We do have a cathartic pyre, so it's kind of a hmm. Prismari Command and Cathartic Pyre. Kind of tempting to actually keep this. If it's an aura deck that doesn't have Selfless Savior on turn 1, this is actually a decent keep. I'm gonna keep it. Also gonna... Oh, okay, so... Okay, I see. I see what they're doing. Also, when you have Pact of Negation, you always want to be auto-passing be uh, before turn 5. Because you don't want to give them the hint that you you have a pact of negation. Um, they don't have. So in order for this to work, I need immersion ultimatum. The faithful mending is a pretty good start. Why did that take so long? Oh my goodness. I'm so lucky right now. They could have a thought seize, right? So definitely a problem if they do have a thought seize. Okay, faithful mending. We'll discard the two ultimatums, because we're never going to be able to cast them. So here's an interesting spot. I do want to solve the equation this turn. So considering that we didn't draw land there, it's a very high potential that we could draw land next turn. So... I think I'm willing to bet me drawing a land the next turn. Solve the equation, grab the Mizzix's Mastery. Even if we get Thoughtseize, it's fine because we have another solve the equation. And also, Trail of the Crumb only gives them... Why do you have that? I am so upset. It's okay, that's why we play Prismari's Command. That's pretty lucky. They probably only play a copy of it and they got it. I don't see decks playing like four copies of it, especially in those those kind of decks. But that's okay. That's okay. We do have Prismari's Command. This deck is so weak to Graveyard Hate, like... It's so vulnerable. 
Okay, thank goodness we got a Dragon Storm there. It sucks that we didn't draw any land, but it's... It's fine. So we'll... Create a treasure. And then destroy an artifact. Target player gets treasure. And we'll destroy that artifact. And they'll have to use Full Guy Lantern, exile the graveyard because we do have Emergent Ultimatum. They can see that. But that's fine. We have Faithful Mending and then Cathartic Pyre to get through it. So we should be okay. Hopefully. Hopefully they don't play multiple copies of it. That would be tragic. It does seem kind of like the fact... It kind of seems like they do have it though, right? Like they're playing these... Uh, they're doing these... Um, very in inefficient... Plays. So they might actually play multiple copies of Book Graveyard Hate. I wouldn't be surprised at this point. Meat Hook Massacre. Sure. Sure. Another Trail of Crumbs, that's fine. Okay, that's a much needed land. That's good. Okay, so I want to go for a win next turn. Hopefully I get a land. Hopefully I get a land. Because I want to do Faithful Mending this turn, right? And then discard Dragonstorm and maybe something else. And then I go... Like, Cathartic Pyre into Mizix's Mastery. So that's... I need 6 mana next turn. To get Storm 3. Looks like they're digging for it. We're still digging. Diggy diggy hole. If they do, though, right? If they do get... This is good. No Graveyard Hate. Goose is fine. I just need a land. Please give me a land. Oh, no. Oh no, but I got I got blade wing. This is fine. So I Mizix's mastery. The dragon storm. This is good because I also have packed them negation for whatever they might have. Opponent's final attempt in trying to do something. Don't know what they could actually do in this situation. So, Dragon Storm. And we win. Wow. What a clutch that was. Just. Get, having that Prismari Commander was huge. It could be the same deck, just because um the because of the recent tournament, there's a lot of Golgari food. So it could be the same deck. Having Omniscience in my hand is kind of fishy, but 
We have everything that we need to win the game. We'll start off with faceless, uh, faithless looting. We don't need omniscience because we can't really cast it ever. We'll bottom the steam vent, I guess, because it's a shop land. And I don't think we play any check lands, so. Ooh, Dragonstorm already. I see, I see. Hmm. This is kind of risky. I don't know if I want to cast this Faithful Mending. Okay. Let's see what they take. So they did take Faithful Men, uh, Music's Mastery. That's fine. We'll just fetch another Music's Mastery. Okay, and they just gave up because they see that we have solved the equation. Okay, so if you want a really, really fast deck that can just win on turn four, this, I mean, this is the deck. This is the deck. This deck is pretty insane in doing this achieving this so faithless looting discard terror of the peaks and dragon storm and on turn now it's just waiting game we win on turn four guaranteed unless something terrible happens so warden is kind of annoying because it's just going to take more triggers to win the game. I'm not sure if I cast Faithful Mending. Like, because I could draw into... Because I don't need anything else. I, assemb I already assembled the combo. But I could, I guess I could die, so I should probably cast it. Right? I don't see myself ever dying here. I just don't see it. Oh my goodness. I might actually lose. What a card they just drew. That, that They actually found exactly what they needed to win the game. Ranger Captain of Eos. In their life game deck. Wow. What, what a mad man. Why is it, why is there a stop there? I may, maybe they, they'll mess it up. Maybe they won't sacrifice. Maybe they won't know what Ranger Captain of Beos does. Maybe. Here's to hoping that they don't know what Ranger Captain of Beos does. Okay, we lost. Man! Why do they have that? That makes zero sense. What? What? Excuse me? I dare say that this is a mulligan. I'm gonna mulligan this hand just as, a, as an experiment. I mean, it's, it's, it's much better, but what do I bottom? 
solve the equation maybe? Yeah, I think that's fine. Man, I can't believe I lost that last game. That was actually insane. I think I'm gonna actually play this first. I don't see myself ever casting Shatter Skull. Hmm. Oh, this is. It could be a same deck. Could be a same deck. Yeah, it, it is a same deck. So, I guess in this case, if person that goes first wins because... Oh, it's not the same deck. Return any number of permanent cards with different name from your graveyard to the battlefield. It looks like they're playing some kind of janky version. Let's put Emergent and Dragonstorm to the graveyard. This is good. This is good. So I have everything that I need to win. Now the question is, do I cast this Faithful Mending? Because if I Faithful Mending and find Omniscience, I lose. But if I find Omniscience... Yeah, I, I think... Oh, thank god. So, I should win here. Mizix's Mastery. Emergent Ultimatum. Then you find Dragonstorm, Omniscience, and solve the equation. It's guaranteed lethal. I don't think they know. What car should I give them? Dragonstorm? There you go. Terror. Terror. Blade Wing. Another Blade Wing. Easy game. Ah, uh, what a... What a good game. <laughs> a good game for me, bad game for them. I mean... This deck might be kind of insane. Like, every hand is just... Perfect. At this, like, this is turn 4 lethal again. As long as nothing, nothing terrible happens here. Hmm, I wonder if I should have casted the Cathartic Pyre. Okay, so they think I have a counter spell. I mean, a removal spell. They thought wrong. So here, I am going to catch, uh, find. A Pact of Negation. The next turn I win 100%, unless they have double counter spells or double removal spells that deals four damage. Pretty unlikely. Pretty unlikely. Nice. 
Nice.